Hey there. Ukuleles usually come with a high G string at the top here, which means you get this this weird configuration where the fourth string is actually higher pitched than all the others. Uh, but you can actually change this to a low G string. And there are several ways of doing that. I'm going to show you a few of them in this video. Some of these options are more expensive than others. I've tried out the Aquila Low G Red Series string, which is pretty cool because it's all nylon and still makes a low G. But there are cheaper options like using this guitar uh, D string, which is like a wound low G. Uh, this is much cheaper and gets you a pretty nice sound. We'll be comparing them now. Using this wound low G string from the guitar is actually pretty similar to using Aquila's wound low G string for ukulele. Uh, but I've actually tried out this uh, Aquila low G string and it lasted me about a week before breaking, whereas all my other Aquila strings and these guitar strings last months and months, if not a year or more. First with the original high G string. The Aquila Unwound Red Series Low G String. Guitar Wound D String. Out of curiosity, I've also tried a guitar G-string, the unwound kind, and uh, this does not work. It's much too soft and it doesn't sound good. So you need the guitar D-string that's wound. So it comes down to using the Aquila Red Series low G-string or the guitar D-string, which is a wound string. Of course, the guitar string is cheaper because you can cut in half and get two out of one string and you can find this anywhere in any music shop. It's really a hard choice and it really comes down to if you like the feeling of the little wound zip or if you prefer this, uh, the, this feeling which isn't smooth but is nylon. Up to you, they both sound great, they both resonate perfectly nice. So basically anything goes except for the Aquila wound low G string which it sounds nice, but lasts way too short. Only take that one if it's really the sound that you're searching for. If you really like the low G sound and you're very motivated, you can check out my other video where I turn a normal four string ukulele into an eight string ukulele, which means you get four pairs of strings actually. So you get the low G sound and the high G sound at the same time and you get a little bit richer sound out of it. If this video helped you out, you can uh, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below. 
And uh, that way we can continue together our quest to get the best sounds from the cheapest ukuleles. Thanks for watching.